Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Abby. I'm with Fitness is Medicine. Today we're going to do another great workout you can do in a small space in your home with very minimal equipment. We're going to use one set of dumbbells today, so probably a little bit on the heavier side, and a fit ball. Um, if you don't have a fit ball, you can do the exercises on the floor, no problem. And we're going to also use um, a lighter weight exercise tube or band. So um, a little bit heavier on the weights, and then if you do have a smaller weight for the other one we're going to do, we're going to do a couple different dumbbell exercises. And then if you have a tube that looks like this, it's in a circle. If not, you can use a normal tube, and I'll show you how to do that for a normal um, band, you know, just a regular exercise band, and I'll show you how to do that as well. Okay, we're going to start with a bridge on the ball doing a chest press. So I've got my two weights here. And we're going to sit on the ball. The easiest way to do this is to hold the weights right here on your legs and walk out to a bridge. So we're going to, I'm just going to move back so I'll make sure I'm on the camera here. You want your head and shoulders resting comfortably on the ball and then kind of a straight line from your knees to your shoulders. So you have a nice flat surface along the front side of your body. Now we're going to alternate chest press. So we're going to do one at a time. You can keep your elbows in close like I am right this time, right this second, or you can bring them out to the side. Either way is a good, is good form, but one may feel better on your elbows and shoulders than the other. So this is six. So you really have to stabilize through your core and this is a longer hold on this bridge here, so your glutes and your hamstrings are really having to engage to hold you in this nice, flat, stable surface. And that's 10. Okay, so then just bring them in close to you, walk back up, and then you're seated down on the ball. Okay, we're going to put the weights down, so always be careful when you're picking weights up and putting them down so that you use proper form and protect your back. Okay, we're going to stand up now, and we're going to do some squat pulses. So what I want you to do is we're going to get down into a squat as far down as is comfortable for you. So you may be here, and that's okay, but what I'm going to have you do is do little tiny pulses. And when you pulse, I want you to think about sitting your hips back. And when you pulse up, squeezing your glutes. So this is a really glute intensive exercise. So we're gonna do 15 of these. So get down into where you feel comfortable in a squat. You can even use something for a support if you need to, that's okay. I always have my hands forward when I do a squat for balance. So squatting back, now up just a little. And what you're going to do is think about squeezing your glutes as you stand up. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, so notice how far back my hips go. I don't want you squat pulsing here. Your knees shouldn't go forward. Your hips should go back, and you're tilting here, hinging at the hips. Okay, good. Next, we're going to lower down to the floor and do mountain climbers, which is a plank hold with moving your legs. I'm going to move this back down. So I'm going to change this up a little bit. I think the last time we did them, we did them to the forward spot. So when you go into this plank, I want your hands directly beneath your shoulders. Nice flat line and then bringing your knee toward your elbows. Two, three, four. Now remember, you can do this on an elevated surface like a countertop or a kitchen sink, or you can even use a um, coffee table or an exercise bench. Eight, nine, 10, and 10. Good, okay. You can sit back in child's pose after that if that feels good. Um, the key with that is to, you don't have to get your knee all the way to your elbow. It will be easier on an elevated surface. Um, you can even use like a kitchen chair as long as it's pushed up against like a wall so it's not going to move on. Okay. 
Now we're going to grab um, one dumbbell, probably a little bit lighter to start. You can always pick up a heavier one, but I grabbed a lighter one than I used for my chest press here. So you can always go heavier. We're going to do an overhead triceps press. So I want you to take this and you notice my elbows are in close to my ears. We're going to press straight overhead. So I'm going to lower down here actually so that I'm in fully in the camera. Straight up overhead. Three, the only joint moving here are my elbows. Trying to keep them in as close as I can to my ears. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. You can do that one seated on the ball. You can do it standing in a tandem stance, just a regular wide, you know, supportive stance, or even seated in a chair if you need that stability. Okay, next we're going to grab this band that you can put around your ankles. Now, if you don't have one of these, you can use just a regular exercise band and step on it like this. Oops, that one broke. But we're gonna go side to side like this. So I, that one isn't the ideal one. Generally you want one a little bit longer, but if you're gonna step on it, stand up. We're going to do some side stepping. So if you do have one of these loops, we'll get it on around your ankles. And the key to this exercise is making sure your toes stay facing straight forward. I even tell people to maybe even move their toes in just a little bit, not a lot, but just to envision that so that your glutes are firing here, not your hip flexors and your quads. So I'm not squatting, but I'm in a little bit of an athletic stance. So my hips are back, my knees are bent, and I'm just gonna make sure my camera is on here. And so remember my hips are back just a little sidestepping. Now, I also wanna keep that tension as I take little steps. So I don't want you to go far and then tiny, far, tiny. I want them to kind of keep about shoulder width apart for the entire set. So just kind of baby steps. Once you get about 10 or you get, you know, maybe to the end of your space or your room, then you can rest and then we'll go back the other way. Three, four, nice baby steps. Don't drag your feet. You're stepping each time, little baby steps. And 10, good. You should really feel that burning back here. What happens a lot is when we start to step to the side, our big foot or our big, our, the front of our toes kind of want to lead out like that. And that's because our quads and our hip flexors are generally much stronger and they want to help out. But we want to make sure that our glutes are being focused on right there. Okay, the last one we're going to grab our exercise tube or band that you may have. I have mine um, about chest height in the door. And we're going to stagger our feet just to protect our backs. We're going to do a shoulder stabilization exercise that I call goal post shoulders. So to begin with, before you even start, you can put your hands like this, bent at 90 degrees, your arms are parallel to the floor. All you're going to do is go like this. So imagine like your goal post, right? You're making a goal post with your arms. And you can even do that in front of a mirror so you can kind of get that motion down. It's an external rotation, but we're gonna add a little bit of, this is a light band. This is not very much resistance. So then you're gonna do that with the tubes. So you're just moving in that plane of motion. Your shoulder joint is rotating, working on your rotator cuff here. Seven, make sure your shoulders aren't up like this. Keep them down, eight, nine and ten good so the only thing that's rotating there is your shoulders your elbows and wrists are staying in that same plane of motion and your shoulders are rotating there okay 
Go ahead and go back through these um, one to two more times, add a little cardio in between, make sure you come in warmed up, ready to go, and then end with some good stretching and cool down when you're finished. Please let me know if you have any questions and we'll see you next time. Keep moving everybody.